I've had storms under both President Trump and President Biden, uh, and I've worked well with both of them. She's the first one who's trying to politicize the storm, and she's doing that just because of her campaign. A vital part of preparing for hurricane season is to get vaccinated now. Everything is more complicated if you're not vaccinated in a hurricane or natural disaster hits. With people in Florida, North Carolina, um, and many other states still cleaning up from Hurricane Helene, a even bigger, potentially more dangerous hurricane barrels down on Florida. I think Milton. This morning, I saw the news they wanted to up the, it to Category Six, which apparently doesn't even exist. Yet Kamala Harris tried and got absolutely demolished to politicize it, to try and blame Republicans, to try and clout chase from Ron DeSantis while he's trying to evacuate a third of his state. And it went so incredibly badly, so brutally, that you just have to see it to believe it. Now, huge shout out to my coffee company, Coffee Brand Coffee, which just started shipping Fan favorite from last year, Spike Jack Lantern. Also, brand new flavor, Apple Strudel. And today, we're pleased to announce the rest of our fall lineup, which includes peach cinnamon, which is my absolute favorite, and maple cream. Add a little bit of plain creamer to this, a little bit of natural sweetener. And the maple cream, I highly recommend some maple syrup. But it will really bring the flavors out. It's absolutely delicious. Promo code fall save available in whole bean and ground. We're a real coffee company, not some garbage drop ship, you know, that somebody just sticks their name on. And I think you're absolutely going to love these fall flavors. So get your order in today. Both are shipping right now. Governor DeSantis nuked Kamala Harris after she freaked out today and attacked him for ignoring her phone calls. So here's where she tries to clout grab. This is the a classic instant regret for Kamala Harris. President, Governor DeSantis, NBC is reporting Governor DeSantis is ignoring your calls on hurricanes, resources, and, and help. How does that hurt the situation here? You know, moments of crisis, if, if nothing else, should really be the moment that anyone who calls themselves a leader says they're going to... She's trying to politicize it. By the way... While bodies were floating up in North Carolina, she was in San Francisco fundraising from billionaires. While bodies were floating up in Georgia, she was on a, a BJ, a, 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 a whore podcast called Call Me Daddy or whatever, Call Her Daddy, uh, fundraising and spreading lies. She's been on the ground, I think, exactly one time. And why exactly would Ron DeSantis take phone calls from her idiot, dumb rear end anyway? What can Kamala Harris do? She's done nothing in four years. She was just trying to use it for political cloud. I'm going to put politics aside and put the people first. People are in desperate need of support right now. And what would Kamala Harris provide them? What, what, is, what is Kamala Harris going to provide those people in desperate need of help? I am genuinely asking. Calling Ron DeSantis irresponsible and selfish. By the way, Ron DeSantis has managed several hurricanes in his time as governor in Florida. And regardless of how you felt about him as a presidential candidate, I don't think there's any denying that as a governor, he's probably one of the best there are. I don't think he needs Kamala Harris. What's hilarious is this is just what's true of Democrats. Everything they accuse you of is what they're guilty of. She's literally trying to clout grab off this hurricane while he's scrambling to get people out of his state. Here's a clip that Ron DeSant of Ron DeSantis categorically denying the report from ABC that he ignored a call from Kamala Harris. 
saying you're not aware of that? And if so, how are you not aware of that? Uh, so Biden called me a couple days ago with Helene when I was on the helicopter. Uh, I didn't have any issues. They had helped us with what we've done. I'm not aware that he's tried to call uh, since then. Certainly hasn't called my phone, so I don't know quite where they're getting uh, that information. At the same time, we got the approvals that we need. If there's something else that we need, you know, I'll hop on the phone very quickly, uh, whether that's a FEMA administrator or the president, uh, and we will press the case to be able to get well, Yeah, Kamala has nothing to do with Florida, this. But we have gotten approvals for everything that we've asked for. I didn't know that she had called, so I, I'm not sure who they called. They didn't call me. Ha <laughs> ha! Characterization of it. Um, Another Kamala Whopper. Did. It wasn't anything that uh, anybody in my my office did in terms of saying that it was political. Given, given, the, given the severity of this moment, since I, I did want to ask you about about politics right now in terms of should should. You no, know, I don't really want to answer questions about this. It's not a time for politics. No, excuse me, Gary. You and your Based. publication will twist anything that's done to try to make a political agenda. That's what you do. That's how you get your clicks. I understand that. I Based. understand that's the business model. Well, but but I don't want to talk about politics because, well, but I have a feeling that however you do, you guys will find a way to frame it. That's just your shtick. I get it. It's fine. <laughs> uh, but I don't want to participate in it. Based. Absolutely based. You see this? DeSantis pushed back on delusional Harris remark about Hurricane Milton calls. He, she never called. She never called him. She lied. Here he is being more pointed about it. And we've been laser focused on leveraging all resources available, including from the federal government. And I've been in touch with both FEMA and the president, as well as marshalling all our state agencies and working to support our local communities. And so for Kamala Harris uh, to try to say that my sole focus on the people of Florida is somehow selfish uh, is delusional. Ah. She has no role in this. Uh, in fact, she's been vice president for three and a half years. I've dealt with a number of storms under this administration. She has never uh, contributed anything to any of these efforts. And so Oops. what I think is selfish she ever is her trying before? to blunder into this. No, and here <laughs> she has no role. No, she has no role in this process. Uh, I'm in contact with the president of the United States. I'm in contact with FEMA director. I'm obviously managing all our state agencies. We're supporting all our local government. And I will say this. I've had storms under both President Trump and President Biden, uh, and I've worked well with both of them. She's the first one who's trying to politicize the storm, and she's doing that just because of her campaign she's trying to get some type of an edge she knows she's she's doing poorly yes, and so she's correct. playing these political games i don't have time for political games i've got people whose lives are on the line i've got people whose homes and their possessions are on the line and we are focused 100 percent on that mission i'm not worried about playing her political games and so she is being selfish by trying to blunder into this when we're working I mean, absolute savagery. Why would she lie like that? Why? I mean, because Kamala Harris has literally nothing. Literally nothing to talk about. Look, there's going to be people, this hurricane and its response, the response to it are in a way, in, you know, undeniably political in some sense. How FEMA responds to it is a direct reflection of current leadership. Not just at the presidency, but at FEMA themselves, who we know care more about who people sleep with and you know uh you know and what their pronouns are than helping Americans. A hurricane like this is going to affect Democrats, it's going to affect Republicans, it's gonna affect atheists, it's gonna affect Christians, it's gonna affect uh I don't know, Wiccans, warlocks, whatever, right? It's not the time to politic, which granted, Ron DeSantis is doing a bit here, but it's only in response to Kamala Harris trying to stick her stupid nose in it and act like she gives a damn. Ron DeSantis knows and has correctly pointed out that Kamala Harris does not care one iota about the people of Florida. She doesn't care because we saw how she acted with North Carolina. We've seen how she's acted 
with all the people that are struggling to get help in the Appalachians, the, uh, the FEMA disaster, right? What is it? Now, I'm praying, and I don't pray often because you know I'm not very religious, but obviously I don't think this hurricane is going to miss Florida. But to see it, I think my wife told me this morning, had dropped to Category 4, which is still extremely dangerous. It would be, I mean, by, by the grace of God, it would at least drop down to Category 2 or 1. Uh, before making landfall. People just need a break right now. People don't need to be politic to. They have enough. Look, these people know who they're going to vote for. All right? And when you look at what's happening in the betting odds, this is the aggregate. This is almost directly after Kamala trying to insert herself into Hurricane Milton's path and get clout. She now, in the RCP betting averages, okay, this is... Betfair, Bettison, Boveda, BWIN, Points Bet, Poly Market, and Smarkets. She's behind in every market. In Poly Market, she's behind six points. In Points Bet, she's behind three. In BWIN, she's behind five. Bettison, she's behind two. Literally nobody has her ahead in the betting markets. Poly Market has her down 6.1 points. Her RCP average is at two. I strongly suspect, okay. I strongly suspect she will fall after last night. Look at what happened. Remember Kamala's word cell and answer about Israel on 60 Minutes? They deleted it. Now, this is what Americans will actually see. But it seems that uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu is not listening. Well, Bill, the work that we have done has resulted in a number of movements in oh, that region okay. by Israel that were very much prompted by okay. or a result of uh, mm -hmm. many things, including our advocacy for what needs to happen in the region. But it seems that uh, Prime Here's Minister Netanyahu answer. is not listening. We are not going to stop pursuing what is necessary for the United States to be clear about where we... Even with 60 Minutes help, this idiot... And look... It's still going to be a close election. You're kidding yourself if you don't think Kamala Harris has any real chance at winning the presidency because she does. A head of lettuce won the election in 2020. And by the way, pretty handily, okay? Kamala Harris is a very real threat to this country. The mainstream media is protecting her even when they're not. It is an absolute, complete, unmitigated disaster. Kamala Harris is not fit for leadership. Shout out to Ron DeSantis taking care of his people first. And uh, I would call that some serious instant regret. I hope, you, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. Also, don't forget, coffeebrandcoffee.com, our full fall, fall lineup. I think this is our best fall lineup in the history of our company, which is going on almost three years old now. It is at any one of these flavors you couldn't go wrong with. A little bit of un, unflavored creamer little bit of natural sweetener really brings out that that flavor you're really going to smell it and you're going to taste it like on the on the aftertaste don't think of like those sugar loaded sweetener loaded creamers that you get off your shelf this is a natural taste a natural flavor a natural flavor taste that you can actually taste in the black in black coffee you know it's you don't have to add anything for it to taste delicious they're all medium roasts Check them out. If you don't like flavored coffee, obviously we have 20 other different kinds of coffee. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it and we'll talk to you again real soon.